Think about the last time you fell sick. Maybe you had a fever, cough or stomach pain. And suddenly the whole day you couldn't do anything. You couldn't study, play or even eat properly. Now these are often signs that an individual is coming down with the disease. And in humans, we are able to understand the signs and symptoms of a disease. But what about animals and plants? Do you think they fall sick just like us? Well, as a matter of fact, they do. And in this video, we are going to discuss the different diseases that affect plants and animals. Now, quickly to recall, we know that a disease can be defined as a deviation from the normal functioning of the body. And often diseases are caused by pathogens, which are microscopic organisms that invade into the body and cause a disease. Now, pathogens can be bacteria, they can be fungi, or they can even be viruses. And just like us, animals and plants can also be attacked by pathogens, which cause diseases. But here's something interesting. Signs of sickness look very different in them when compared to us. So let's understand this with some examples. So first up, let's start with animals. Now cows are animals which are commonly seen in India. And we see that cows along with goats as well as sheep are mainly reared for their milk by farmers. And from goats and sheep, we also obtain meat and wool. Now sometimes these animals can develop swelling under their skin causing skin sores or they can develop vomiting or even sudden fever. And this happens when a pathogen called as bacillus anthracis invades into the body causing a disease called as anthrax. Now this anthrax or this condition can even spread to us humans. Now, because these animals are reared by farmers for their milk, meat and hide, when they fall sick, it can affect the quality of these products, which is why preventive measures are necessary. Now, vaccination is a common go-to preventive measure in this case. And in case if the animal falls sick, then the infected animal must be quarantined to minimize the spread of the disease. Now, yet another disease that affects cattle is the foot and mouth disease, which is a highly contagious disease where animals show blisters in the mouth and sores on their feet, making it very difficult for them to eat and walk. And along with this, they also have drooling saliva. Now, this is caused by a pathogen called as the FMD virus. Now, foot and mouth disease is not a threat to humans and cannot be transmitted to humans, unlike anthrax. But often we see that it can be spread to other animals by direct contact with infected animals or through their bodily fluids. Or in some case, it can spread indirectly as well through contaminated objects like feed or clothing. Which is why preventive measures includes robust measures like making sure that there's restricted animal movement and infected animals are isolated. Now, some more common diseases that affect animals include bird flu and rabies. Now, bird flu is a viral infection that spreads in birds that ultimately causes coughing, sneezes and affects the egg laying ability of chickens while rabies is seen in dogs, which is a deadly viral infection. The dogs end up showing aggressive behavior, excessive salivation, fear of water and paralysis. And sadly, it also spreads to humans through dog bite. So from this, we can understand that animals tend to show very specific signs when they're sick. But what about plants? How do we know if a plant is healthy or sick? Now, sometimes when we look at a plant which is drooping like this, we may think that it is sick. But actually, it's just dehydrated and we need to pour some water. But when you observe plants with strange spots, as you see here, this is an indication that plants are not healthy. Now, some of the diseases that affect plants include citrus canker. Now, citrus fruits like lime often show raised brown spots, as you can see in the image. And this disease is caused by a bacteria called as Xanthomonas citri. 
Now, often when this particular bacteria infects the citrus plants, it affects the leaves, the stems and the fruits and thereby reducing the fruit quality. And ultimately, citrus plants are grown for their fruits. So therefore, this also affects the farmers who are rearing them. Now, yet another plant disease is the rust disease. Now, rust disease primarily affects cereal crops. So cereal crops like wheat, barley and oats are all affected by this disease. Now, it is caused by a fungus called Aspoxenia. And there are various types of Paxenia species that causes stem rust, leaf rust or even yellow rust. Now this produces or this particular disease primarily produces small powdery pustules that you can see on your screen which can sometimes be red, brown or yellowish depending on the rust type. And this can appear on the leaf, it can appear on the stem thereby weakening the whole plant. Now, infected plants suffer from reduced photosynthesis. Along with that, we also see that it causes nutrient loss. The grains become shriveled in nature. And along with that, we see that it ultimately results in major losses. So, therefore, we see here that a lot of control measures are kept in place to make sure that the spread of the disease is minimized and minimal number of crops get affected. So, from this, what can we understand? Microorganisms or pathogens to be specific can affect humans, animals as well as plants. And each disease has a specific clinical sign that can help us in identifying. Now why should we be aware of these diseases? Because animals and plants are reared at a large scale for food. And therefore recognizing these signs are important to maintain the overall health of crops as well as livestock. So with this, I hope that the concepts related to diseases in plants and animals is now clear to you.